So we're back here, but not just me, with my friends and the night show friends. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. So up, quiet guys? tonight. Yes. How we're are you doing with cold. the cold? <laughs> I, I guess that's why you guys it's are too cold. Better than cold last cold. week, though. It is. The weather, but a little bit dusty. It is a little bit yeah. dusty, but it's going to get colder. That's what they say. I, I don't know the thing, like with Kuwait, like what's going on. Every time there's a weekend, the weather is awful. I it's, know. it's dusty. But then Sunday comes along and we got work and it's beautiful out. You know? Yeah. So you never get to enjoy it. Unless yeah. you work from home. Yes. So I still don't enjoy it. You're in the <laughs> <laughs> well, you're indoors, but you can, you know, escape Shield work yourself. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, get out. <laughs> but it's a time to, uh, well, not today, maybe. I think, I hope it's going to get better with the dust, but it is time to move and walk and enjoy because, you know, this is not going to last forever, especially it's in not, Kuwait. Nope. It's, uh, it's going to go away and then the sun is going to come and then we're going to start boiling. So let's just enjoy <laughs> and be grateful to this weather. Um, speaking of enjoying, um, it's uh, the coffee time, coffee, right. a cup of coffee. So every episode we talk about a topic. So allow me to choose a topic because yesterday I went and watched Scream. Scream? Yes. Okay. And it's supposed to be a thriller, horror. Right. It doesn't scare me. It's not a horror for me. I think it's more of a classic and like memories because I watched all of the, uh, all Scream, all Scream mm. movies. So it was fun for me to Did just you like see it? Them. Well, uh, I can't say if I like it or not because I love them and it's just, I think it's affecting my judgment because I just, oh, I saw them again. Okay. It's heartwarming yeah. seeing them because I, I watched this movie when I was a teenager and now they're all back and a little bit older and it's just, Did you it was okay. ever watch the show that's based on it called Scream Queens? No. No? That's, that's, that was good. I mean, really? when I was young, I watched the parody of Scream. Is this oh, called Scary okay. Movie? Yeah, no, those no. are the best. I love <laughs> no. Scary I love Movie. Yeah, right? Parody and then that kind of ruins the that actual ruined everything. Movie. Yeah. yeah, I can see it all funny. Speaking of horror movies, this is my question. Have you ever watched a horror movie? Or when was the first time? How old were you when you watched a horror movie? And what was it? Oh, God. I'll go That's, first because this okay, is super ahead. traumatizing for me. <laughs> okay. When I was a kid, I saw a movie that forever traumatized me. Let me guess. Can I guess? Yeah, go for it. Exorcist? No, no, no. The Actually, exorcism? I, we thought that was funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. The original? I don't know. We saw one of them and we just started laughing. Okay. I mean, I, like, okay, after that, like, after I got traumatized, every horror movie that I see, I would just start laughing. Okay, uh, I think it's a trauma. So the, the, the <laughs> trauma came from a movie called House on a Haunted Hill. Okay. And yeah, I think I know it. It's where these people uh, are are given like tickets to with this millionaire to go into this house, and if they make it out alive, they split the millions. Mm -hmm. and how old were you oh. when you watched? This I story? was very young, and like uh, how old? and the place used to be an asylum for crazy people. Does the house have and mirrors? And there's still ghosts. Oh my God, it's <laughs> awful. Is the house how? filled with mirrors? No. No, that's no. another movie then. How old were you? Almost, like, uh, about. Old enough to uh, be scared when the house gets its lights turned off, basically. I, I, I just believe it was last year, because it's, it's, like, shy to say how old he was. <laughs> oh. No, really? I, I, I don't know, but I, I remember, and I actually thought about this a few days ago, when the house, the lights in, in the house went off, I would be scared to go to an area that was dark. Oh, my God. That's how scary that movie was. It was... They, they, there were doctors in that house that did crazy procedures on these prisoners. Oh my God. And it's, it's very scary. I do recommend you watch it though. Okay, I'll, I'll watch yeah. it. What about you, Eliana? I was, I think, six years old. Oh Demon's my God. Wind. What was it called? Demon's Wind. Okay. And uh, what I recall is I wouldn't make anybody in the house sleep at night because I would be so scared I would keep them awake. You guys all stay awake until I fall asleep. Oh so uh, they forbid me to watch horror movies after Why that. Why did you watch it? It was my brother's uh, uh, Okay, it's always idea. someone like a sibling because I don't think it was a, your decision. Like you're six and you know what? I'm just going to watch a horror movie. It's someone else watching and you saw it. Ugh. And he's obviously older than yeah. me. So I was like, hey, you know, oh try God. to watch it. It's a, a nice movie. <laughs> did you ever watch again? Like, did you ever watch other I horror movies? I hate horror movies till this day. Oh, okay. So she's <laughs> traumatized. You, you didn't watch the, the, the movie 
like when you grew up? Because I did watch House on a Haunted Hill when I grew up. And it was funny? It was still messed up. But, oh! <laughs> but at least it was a bit can, more Can we watchable. sleep with the night off now? <laughs> <laughs> like a little night light. No comment. Keep the door night open. <laughs> he still has a trauma. Yeah. What about Corridor you? light on. <laughs> yeah. What about you, AJ? Um, I don't necessarily like horror films, not because they're scary or anything. As a filmmaker, when I look at the horror genre, I feel like it's rep repetitive. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you can kind of tell how it's going to end. So I hope like one day I get to make my own and mm. uh, redefine the genre. My oldest memory of watching a horror film, I don't remember the name, but basically the plot is this janitor who gets teased by teenagers, gets some toxic waste spilled on him, and then it turns him into a monster, and he starts haunting the people that were teasing him. That's the oldest memory of a horror film I've, I can remember. So. How old? Yeah. Like seven. Seven. Oh my Same. god, that yeah. was too young. Yeah. I mean, I love movies. So. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Another traumatizing experience. Right. This is the worst. I watched a movie about these worms that take over people's brains, basically. So they start controlling these people, right? <laughs> That's actually funny. And then these worms have to drink water to, um, I don't know, they have to hydrate a lot. It's <laughs> okay. really funny, right? <laughs> and then there was so much worms and these teenage high school people that just try to fight it. It's very scary. Um, but I thought it was all right. Okay. So I was at a friend's house. We watched it, and then it was back in the room. We're chilling. We're playing video games. And I swear to God, worms started falling on the keyboard. Oh. Like and in I real looked, life? Yes, in real life. Where did they come from? And then from? I look up, and the ceiling is filled with worms. <gasps> oh, my God. Right after the movie. What? How? How? And we're not world? imagining any we, of this. No, no, no. <laughs> we start panicking, and then... My mom, uh, my friend's mom, turned out to have stored halwa in the corner for way oh. too long. Oh. And the ceiling is dripping worms. How cool was that? That is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> not cool. Not cool what at all. What a coincidence. Oh my, I would just, I would have ran. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't yeah. want to know what's the explanation. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is, tell us your story. My story, uh, I love horror movies. Okay. I love, and I've probably seen them all. Uh, and I'm, I am picky because, and as you said, maybe because I'm a big fan of horror movies, I do appreciate a good horror movie. I don't like the bloody, gooey stuff, that mm. the, the extra, like, no, I do like a good story, a good plot, uh, a good scare. Um, I, the first movie I watched was The Exorcist, and the, thi the fact that it was based on a true story mm. made it more, like, How scary. But I liked the, the original one. It was, I think... 76, mm -hmm. 1976. I'm Did you sure. watch Stigmata? It's Stigmata. similar. I watched Stigmata, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and the fact. Top three picks. Yes, and and the top three for me. Yeah. The the classic, of course, the Exorcist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Exorcism of Emily Rose, because it is it is also based on true story, mm -hmm. and um, it's not as scary. But the others was really uh, cool. I liked the fact that I was like, oh, at the end. I like those movies when you're like shocked at the end. Mm. Like, what? Now, how like old that. were you when you watched The Exorcist? When I watched The Exorcist, I, was, I wasn't as young. Mm. I was 13. Okay. That's 11, not, 12, 13. Yeah. To watch a horror movie. Yeah, but it was really scary. And yeah. I guess I liked it because I wasn't very young. I was 13. So, yeah, it's still my favorite. But the thing is, nobody wants to watch with me. <laughs> no. Like my husband, all men usually say, I don't like that kind of movie, but I think they're afraid. But they don't want to <laughs> say we're scared. I don't like this kind of movie. They're afraid. And nobody watches my sisters, nobody. So I end up sitting alone watching. Actually, you can fall asleep at night? <laughs> yes. Yeah, everybody asks me, how That's could you sleep? Do, yeah. Yes, I just sleep. And actually, horror movies are like supposed to be watched with your friends because they yeah. increase you know, your bond when you yeah. go through that scary experience. So uh, from here and now, I'm asking uh, if there are any people out there that love horror movie, I'm open up for a space of friends that can watch with me because I have no one to watch with, <laughs> honestly. I don't Nobody. mind if it's a good, scary movie. We'll go to the movies together. Okay. I don't mind. Cool. Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to ask about uh, movies in general, let's say, what is your all-time one favorite movie? I know, I know mine. What? Um, it's a Lebanese film called Capernaum, Kafarnahum. Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? No. You know why? 
No, no, it's not because it's not good. I can't with the depressing movies. See, I can I watch know, horror, it's but I yeah. can't it's watch drama. drama? It's, it's drama. It's about a refugee kid. Yeah. The actor's from Syria, but he's uh, in the movie. It's about Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So he lives in the slums of Lebanon. And the events of the movie are basically about him running away from home because he comes from a bad family. And just his journey, basically. Yeah. It was and the so actor, real. just because I'm making this film, uh, got citizenship in Norway. Wow. Yeah. And now he's in Eternals, the Marvel movie. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, the thing is, I can sleep if I watch horror movies, but I cannot sleep if I watch a very depressing movie. It has it really, a good I, ending, let's say. If it has a good ending, yeah. yeah you should watch But it. I do cry a lot. It does make <laughs> you cry. Why? Why did this happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm that kind of person. Like, why? And I really cry when I watch a movie. I, I love watching you? comedy movies. Okay. The, the, put a laugh, put a smile, feel good about it. Your mm -hmm. favorite? Nothing to lose. Nothing Martin to... Lawrence okay. um, with another dude. It's uh, it's one of the ultimate comedies you oh, can see okay. in your life. I might have watched it, but I, I wouldn't. It, it's an old movie. Yeah. It's like in the 1990s. Maybe okay. guys. I like Martin yeah. Lawrence. It's funny. Yeah. What about you? Um, right now, I'm not really sure. But when I was a kid, I, my favorite definitely was The Godfather. Oh. Yeah, no. that's a classic. When you were a kid? I mean, yeah, we I mean, have like to look into like your childhood. 20, 18, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was it, you yeah. know. That was it. Uh, how many times I gotta tell you? you know, it's, it's, it's very good. Uh, all three. Um, it's, it's it's you know, it breaks your heart, and there's a lot of drama going on. It's definitely. That's cool. I mean, if anybody hasn't seen it, you have to watch it. I ha I, ha I saw bits of pieces of it, but again, I. I I'm not the kind of action person or it's, killing or. It's more. It's a, a good story. It is a good story. Like it's about family. Oh, really? It was yeah, four hours. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. too long. That is a lot, but uh, we'll we'll talk a lot about our uh, our. Do what you have life a favorite film? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't say yeah. favorite favorite film. Mm -hmm. is I, I can't say what's a, what's favorite. You Off the, the top question? of your head, what when you think of a favorite film, what comes? What movie to your you've head? seen more than once? That would oh, probably be well, Series I've seen more than once. Friends, I still Damn. see them all the time. Uh, movie more than once. Um, I like the comedies more okay. than once. Do you have Romance a favorite movie. comedy? Fa Maybe. I don't know why. It's so lame. But uh, White Chicks was just... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. But it was so... I it's mean, such a good movie. It's yeah, funny. No, that was it is funny. It's a yeah. good it was, it was so funny. That's I the would fourth watch it. fly today. If they made it, we'll cancel culture. <laughs> it won't fly today. But at the time, it was funny. It was really yeah, good. it was yeah, really yeah. funny. Uh, well, we'll talk later about that next episode. We'll know more about what we like and what we don't like and whatever the topic is. But now we're going to listen to our band before we talk more about light news and what's happening around the world. So our lovely band, would you like to make this evening melodic? Melodic, is it a word? <laughs> Yeah, melodic. It's melodic. 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 It's a word now. Okay. <laughs> it's go. a word now. <laughs>
We're back here at the night show with Ali, Eliana and AJ. Uh, we've got uh, lots of news from around the world. So uh, Ali is going to tell us more about it. All right. So the first piece of news that we have today is really interesting, guys. Um, it's a little bit maybe too scientific for me, but it piqued my interest. It's about the James Webb Space Telescope that glided into deep space and parked at somewhere called the Langra Lagrange uh, point, which is uh, 1.5 million kilometers away. And it is sitting um, directly like, how can I explain this? It is sitting directly like behind Earth. Okay. So you got the telescope, Earth, and then the sun. And then it's gonna sit there to capture a lot of information uh, for all of us to learn more about so many things that we don't know about. Wow, but it's not gonna like it's not gonna interfere negatively, or it's fine. It's not. It's really far away, Russia. Okay. Because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Please. So I think everything you just said flew over my head. So yeah, we're like these kind it's, of people. It's gonna. We're gonna learn more about the history of the planets. Oh yeah. yeah. So, via that telescope, so, right? Like Earth has these. Like you know, when when you draw like Earth, there's like these layers, uh, these layers, circles. So one of them is called a Lagrange uh, oh, okay. point L2. So it's sitting right there and 1.5 kilometers, 1.5 million kilometers away. So it's parked just far, 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 away far, far, and just us. to enable us to look. Because it's really hard to capture um, a lot of things from just Earth. So Yeah, that's true. So we'll, uh, we'll see what they're going to send us any information. Please stay tuned. With that, Ali, with that. get any information. <laughs> there is live yeah. streaming, isn't it? Yes, it was live streamed. Live streamed. Uh, um, and it was just... Uh, it just, I think it just made it there just recently. Uh, there's so much, so much, it's too scientific. That's yeah. why Science. I, yeah. I want to dig in more. Anybody who digs in more, please let me know. This is super interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to tell us anything yeah, about the news? We have a Lebanese doctor. Mm -hmm. And while he's uh, delivering a baby, the mom was singing and he joined her in singing. How could she sing while she's delivering? Like I guess it was a cesarean, so yeah. it's not as intensive. Okay. Or I've been told. <laughs> and yes. They're just both singing. I wish we could hear, but they're both singing. It's Fairuz, I think. Yes. It's Fairuz. a Fairuz song, and she had a beautiful voice. Did she? By the way, yes. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. really nice and uh, calm. And I think uh, because there were some complications, and he just don't wanted her to calm. He wanted to calm her down. There, there's the baby. And she saw the baby, Aww. but I don't think she can hold the baby right mm -hmm. now because she is. Um, at like under anesthesia, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it was, it's kind of, I love seeing, um, I know that doctors do this all the time and it's for them a piece of cake, but as patients don't do this all the time. Like she didn't deliver 6,000 times, like he delivered. Mm -hmm. And it is very scary for each and every person that goes under. Uh, and it's really important and I love it when I see doctors go, all the way to make the, their patients feel comfortable and as if it's their only patient. Mm -hmm. I know doctors have lots of patients and they don't have the time to take care of everyone and calm everyone down. But I love seeing when a doctor really goes out of his way to calm his patient down and do whatever it takes to make them feel like it's just you right now and we're gonna take care of you. Do, do you know um, what, what song was she singing? Or she said Feroz. By, uh, by Feirouz. Right? Yeah, which is yeah amazing. it was with Feirouz. Yeah, and right. it was very calming and it was nice. And the nurses were singing and he was singing with her. And yeah. So I think she had a, like, a great voice. She if, has an amazing voice. We have to I, know who she is. Theoretically, if I was the one who's giving that baby, He'd be I like, think, be quiet. And, and I would sing, I think the doctor would just leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying if you're giving birth, you're yeah. going to sing to okay. <laughs> Theoretically. So right. there is a possibility, yeah. like, uh, okay, it's just a very weird story. But, yeah, it was really nice, and I like seeing these kind babies of Babies are miracles yeah. yep. to start out with. Um, speaking of babies and delivery, there's another story that um, came from airplane. There mm -hmm. was uh, this lady that was pregnant flying on the Saudi Airlines um, from Jeddah to New York. And while they were crossing North Ireland and New England, sorry, North England, mm -hmm. um, and going to New York, the baby was born. Oh. Okay. And he was able to get all three nationalities. That is so, so Saudi, cool. American. No, and it was American, uh, New Ireland, uh, sorry, North Ireland and England. He didn't become a Saudi. 
They no, but he got free tickets for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, but they don't cool. give that. Not every country I gives thought they were Saudi. Citizen. Okay. Not every uh, country gives But that's so cool. Yeah, yeah right? The next How time, cool. I, I mean, a piece of cake. Free tickets for life. Like, what did you do? When I was born, yeah. I got three citizenships yeah, yeah, just right? by being born. <laughs> I uh, was born in Seshfa al or whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got nothing on me. <laughs> Imagine um, the child having a fear of flight in the future. Oh, God. <laughs> Free flights, but doesn't get to use them. But no, that would be very unfortunate. <laughs> um, so what else do we have? Um, we have a brain slice that will be released soon what? by Elon Musk. It's a Neuralink. A Neuralink. And it's basically a chip embedded in Aww. the brain. You can view and download memories to another body, even. No, I don't want it's that. Kind Here we of go. Crazy no, no. sci fi no. stuff. Yeah. No. No. No, well, I'm so done with that. No. But it would help for people with paralysis. Okay. So they did test on like four people in Australia and six in New York. Mm -hmm. And it was really successful. So the one that Elon Musk came up with, it was a little bit invasive. Mm -hmm. So they would have to like drill down the skull and put it somewhere there, while well, another smaller company called Synchron, mm -hmm. they came up with a more advanced device, I guess, and it's not as invasive. They put it in the vein, the cortex of the vein of the brain, mm -hmm. and uh, they tested it on those people, uh, and it was really successful. The, the people were completely paralyzed, but what this device does is it actually converts your thoughts uh, into digital language, Okay. And it helps you then control anything digital. Like uh, those people that were tested were able to shop online, were able to t text, write emails, okay. and manage All their through financials. Their thoughts. All through their thoughts. You know, okay. people were worried about the vaccine, mm -hmm. getting chipped through the vaccine. Yeah. Now they're going to line up to get the actual chip. You know, you know, you know what <laughs> usually like gets developed after this, right? Yeah, what? The Terminator. Oh, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, well, I think if uh, it helps a lot of uh, sick people or, I mean, we could just understand that. But if you're normally fine and you're just, you know, adding stuff, superpower and whatever super it is. Superpower. <laughs> <laughs> definitely is a superpower. Yeah, I mean, is. I never have to study. I have all the information yeah, ready to go. I mean, if I'm it helps with Alzheimer's. Hang on and, a sec. Uh, I'm going to send you a text. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I want to be a human. But if it does help a lot of people that are in need of this, That's uh, interesting. that would be great. That is the aim of those companies, yes. to help those with brain illnesses yes. for the most. You're going to be the first one that gets killed when that Terminator comes. <laughs> She's okay with it. You know it. what? I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> so, Ali, what uh, about the writers? Uh, uh, okay, so there are, there's something called the Booker Prize Awards. And I looked at the uh, I looked at their website. They're, they're, it's so cool that... Uh, these writers are, there are so many writers across the globe that are giving these uh, awards. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to congratulate uh, Nasrallah and uh, Shamiri for being nominated for the Top Book uh, Award. And it's truly just such an achievement to be uh, um, featured along with many great uh, artists and book writers. So, um, cool. and it's, it's, it's prized. Does anybody remember? No. Um, so the shout out, do I get any cut of the prize? <laughs> it is like uh, fifty thousand dollars, I think. Fifty thousand dollars. I think so. I, I, I oh, could nice. be wrong, but I think so. Yeah. So, so they were nominated and awarded. Yes. No, they're awarded uh, or nominated. They were awarded. They were oh, awarded. Yeah. That is so cool. I think the good job. Title's a little bit misleading here. Yeah. yeah good that's job. Cool. So what was their book called? What was their book? I think more I'm than sure. one book. I think they're they're. Honestly, when I looked, there were so many books. Yeah, I, I, they do have more than one book each. I, I read the story in Arabic, and then all the books were in, like in English, so I yeah. couldn't find which one. But I was curious. I so think for um, sorry, in in a, in a Sarala, I think it was the light uh, of the night. The, I'm Maybe. translating mm -hmm. it from Arabic to oh, English. Okay. And Muna, it was um, Qawam services. Mm -hmm. Qawam services. I, I I couldn't find a translation for Qawam. Qawam I Okay. Well, anyway, good job and congratulations. Yeah, good job. So we're always so proud when, um, like, from we see writers and mm -hmm. intellectual people from this region, mm -hmm. uh, you know, shine and take the credit they deserve. Honestly, uh, so congratulations. We have Nasrallah and Munashimiri. Uh, congratulations.
they should invite us to dinner. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably go to that dinner with our next piece of news, which is a car that can fly and drive at I've the been same waiting time. For this. Right? Oh my God. This Good one time. is absolutely insane. Tell me, uh, AJ. So it's an air car, and as the name gives away, it's a car that flies, and it actually got the certified to fly after passing tests. And uh, is it in Norway? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I forgot the place. What I, what I, what I was really uh, curious about mm -hmm. is that you, um, it, nobody can, can really drive it or fly it and you, you need a uh, pilot's license. Right. Mm -hmm. but you know who has a pilot's license? Who? Tom Cruise. He can fly that. He has a pilot's yes. license? Then why was he hanging outside uh, uh, the, the door of the plane <laughs> like off. that? He was All riding right. one of those uh, choppers in one of his Mission Impossible movies. Really? He did his own stunt in that chopper. He is. I think he's just. He you know, goes the extra mile. Cool. Species. And it's amazing. So soon we're going to turn into the Jetsons in that oh, case. Oh, here, yeah. here's the thing. This idea mm -hmm. is currently being developed a lot by uh, many small companies to uh, become something that is autonomous. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, like a um, like a taxi service, yeah. So that and they were they will be able to the idea of design is that to make them able to fly and land vertically, mm -hmm. autonomously, no pilot needed, and that way they can be uh, used to travel around without a uh, pilot's license. That's that cool. Be cool. That's, I, I think that's good for that. emergencies. Or I mean, I was gonna go like to Wendy's, but sure, really emergencies. That's <laughs> also an emergency if you're really hungry. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it, this is good for emergency ambulance if there's it's, traffic. It's going to cost $700,000. Yeah. Well, then. yeah, everything starts out like really expensive. But then it goes yeah, over of course, as time passes. So we're never having one, are yeah. we? Yeah. So we're causing <laughs> traffic soon. on the ground, on, and now we're going to cause traffic, traffic on in the air. Do you think we'll still have traffic up there? I'm with sure. With all the space? Humans ruin everything. <laughs> Um, but uh, let's go a bit for a lighter news. Yes. I think our violinist, uh, Luai, would appreciate this, but he's not here today. Mm -hmm. The world's first vi uh, vegan violin, I don't know, created um, using berries and uh, pears. That's it. You, you don't sound very convinced with, really? <laughs> with that piece of news. I don't, I'm not. <laughs> but it looks cool, it looks legit, and it looks, it's working. Okay, so uh, when I first heard about this story, mm -hmm. I immediately thought, uh, that that's just ridiculous yeah. that we're making vegan stuff. But I also learned, and I came to appreciate this piece mm. of art, that the original violins are made with horse hair, horse hooves, oh, and horns. I was wondering, is a violin not and vegan? You, the band, can the band confirm? <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> yes, I love animals. We don't want to hurt animals. Vegan violins and guitars, and let's see all kinds of vegan stuff come out. I think our producer was going to love that instrument, yes. Hajar. Uh, yes, it's really cool. And I've always wanted to learn um, how to use a violin, but now I might buy the vegan violin. Yeah, it's sure. made from pear and berries. But it's berries. also yeah, expensive. 8,000 euros. Whoa. See, vegan people, you have yeah, to help us. Yeah. Vegan that. people, Make help us, us out. We're trying to side with you here, but everything is so expensive. Yeah. Your yeah. food, so your instruments. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. as you said, it starts as really expensive, and then when he has the right equipment, and, and oh, it's, it's I really out. hope so, because yeah, this is the way. Better. Well, that's it for, um, thank you guys. It was an amazing tour around the world and what's uh, trending. And that's a wrap for our trending news. We will take a short break, but not now. After we listen to the lovely band, Melodic, as I said, we have to check it out if it's a real world. We're going to Google it. We had to Google this.